Uh, Adam C. and Cerullo. Uh, first of all, 92. Uh, whose idea was that? You, team, who, who came up with that? I believe it was the Cowie PR team that, yeah. that came up with this. Yeah, I, 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 had a, I had heard some rumblings about it, but I wasn't quite sure. I wasn't quite sure. I mean, Fox kind of went all out, too. They had the skulls and crossbones for all my yeah. wins on the jersey, 92 jersey. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty surreal, you know, I, and it, it's cool to – at least one time ride with the 92 on a 450. It, it kind of when I first saw it, I'm like, man, why'd you go to nine? Like, why'd you why'd you have to pick nine? But I, I don't regret it either because single digits are, are really cool to me. But yeah, 92 is always has a part of me. Yeah. Uh, so now we're finally here. Uh, does it does today feel like how you think it would feel like emotionally and all that stuff like that, or are you just try and take it well, one minute at a time? Yeah, I think I've always had a very is whatever. Whatever comes across on the outside, I've always taken this dead serious on yeah. the inside, right? So even press day, stuff like that, there would be nerves and it just I would just be more aggro than normal, even though maybe I did a good job of not showing that. Mm -hmm. Like I was really uh, intense in, inside that way. And it's funny, you've been in this same environment so many times that way. And you kind of, with the, you know, with it being done, with it being my last one, with the perspective now, it kind of all just drops away. And so, in a way, you're experiencing the same thing you've done so many times in a completely new light after so many years. So it's, it's an interesting feeling. It's different. Yeah, a lot of people have asked you today, you know, reflecting and thinking back on your career. But looking ahead, like, are you actually excited for what's next and what you get to do after your career now? Absolutely. I. <laughs> Time is crazy. Time goes by so quickly. And I've always felt like I've had that, not something I think about, but just something that I always, I don't know, I, I just have always known that. And I have put my entire life into this, and I made it pretty damn far. And I did a lot of really cool things. And uh, I do want to see, I do want to see where else I have, you know, value as a human, where else I can contribute. And I, I just want to experience life through a different lens. I mean, as much as the injury, this, that, that's a, that's a big part of it too is, you know, I am 27, but I've been taking this dead serious since I was like a job since I was six or seven years old. So in a way, it's kind of like, it's kind of like I'm 30, 32, really. <laughs> yeah. I, I always imagine myself retiring a little bit young you know maybe a little bit before 30 this might be a year or two before i would have thought but i was it wouldn't be too much longer anyway uh, i am i am excited i am excited to i'm excited to just put my best foot forward and i, I love learning in, in all different aspects of, of life and this requires so much of your attention and a lot of time away from family and uh, just less of a balanced lifestyle social life all that kind of thing so i i'm not I'm not, you know, I'm 27, not 22. Like, I'm not looking forward to partying my, you know, partying my ass off or anything. But just in terms of spending more time with family and friends, I have two nieces now, and, you know, my grandparents are getting older. And, um, yeah, it's, it's it really is exciting. As, as much as I'm going to miss it, it, it's exciting. Yeah. Uh, like you and Steve were just talking about, like you said, uh, just talking about the being a professional for so long and racing at, at this level for so long. Um, you know, post-career, are you going to ride more? Are you going to go out and be just AC at the local track? Or is it just cut it off and relax for a little while and see what's going on? Well, I keep inquiring. Nick Way has a 2000 and three KX two fifty two stroke in his garage and I keep trying to get him to uh, to sell it to me. So I, I I love riding still and as soon as I'm not feeling because even now I mean, just in that press session right there, the track's kind of bumpy, and my arm is my arm, and I, like, there's a part of me that's still pissed off about it. And it, so, as soon as that drops away, I mean, I have so much fun riding a dirt bike. And I was telling Steve, if anything, I probably will end up delaying some of my healing from, you know, ankle, shoulders, all this stuff. I probably should take like six months off, but yeah. there's no chance I will. <laughs> uh, tomorrow night, when it's all said and done, the checkered flag finally waves. Do you expect it to feel like a weight lifted or just like all the emotions will rain down finally? I think when I announced my retirement initially, uh, there was a big weight lifted there. Um, but where I've been at mentally since then, everything's dropped away, expectations, pressure, and 
you know, I say it all the time, but life's about what you notice. And I've just, I've noticed all the great things that are, that are happening to me, that have happened to me. So not so much a weight lifted because it's, it would imply that there's a lot on me right now. <laughs> if anything, this is so much fun because I'm just out here. Everybody's stoked no matter what I do. And I'm used to like, oh, he's in seventh. He sucks. Quit. Yeah, quit. Retire. You know, but um, I'm, I'm expecting... I'm expecting to, there to be a lot of emotions, and there's no doubt about it. This is what I want. This is what's right, but I'll always miss it. I mean, this is uh, this has been the dream. So you guys get to ride the track before we get to talk to you. What do you think of the track here so far? Yeah, man, it's pretty good. I got it. It's a little bit different than what we've had. Um, it's breaking down pretty fast. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of normal Salt Lake chop. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it should be a good racetrack. Well, it's going to, I think, keep you guys maybe a little bit closer together. Do you find that that's a little bit tough just in case there's a situation where you have to come through the pack that there's maybe not many uh, passing opportunities? Uh, I feel like there's a lot more passing opportunities here than what there was last weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, definitely more here than last weekend. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can definitely run it in. There's a lot more uh, 180s. Um, there's a bull turn after the whoops. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely think there's more passing here than last weekend. Yeah, like you said in the press conference, if you guys are on the same stretch of the track, it's a little bit gloves are off. Um, but do you even have a game plan, I guess, of how you envision the main event to go? Is it just get a start and hope? <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, all I'm focused on right now is get my start. Like, I, I hope I don't see him. I hope I don't even think about it. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, man. It's never been in this situation before. So we're both kind of in the same, same boat here. Um, hopefully we don't run into each other at all, and it's – you know, square off like that. I think the fans want us to be together the whole main <laughs> event. Uh, I don't, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited to get racing either way. Uh, last week, I think I asked you if your whole shot device came up. Did you go back and debrief, and was that what actually happened? Yeah, yeah, it actually did. I was, um, yeah, a bit surprised because I haven't had that happen. I don't know if it was a rock or, or what. My jump was really good, and yeah, you noticed it before I did. I knew something happened. I didn't know what it was, but yeah, that was awful. And then. Um, but still, I came out decent enough and just had a couple yeah, incidents in those first couple laps that did not help me out. Um, but yeah, we focused a lot on my starts this week. Team put a lot of effort in to come out here early. And um, yeah, I feel like I'm in a good spot heading into tomorrow. Is it nice though that seeing how your start went in Nashville and that you got a good jump last week that you feel comfortable enough where your starts are at? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and I mean, the elevation plays a big toll. Last weekend we were guessing, full guessing on what I was going on in with. Um, this weekend I got a little bit more of a game plan from, you know, last weekend and also the way my bike reacts and everything else. Uh, so yeah, I feel good. What do you think of it out there so far? Uh, it's pretty decent. It's Salt Lake. I kind of forget how rocky it is and slippery, but um, yeah, I actually kind of like, kind of like the soil. I mean, you just have to, the throttle control and everything. You just got to be smart. So um, pretty basic layout. Uh, they always come down to a start, but this one probably more than others, maybe. Um, I think it's going to race really well, but it's going to be hard because you can't really push super hard, I feel like, on this track. So you have to pick your points and uh, make them count. Do you feel like there's a decent amount of passing opportunities on this track for just in case you have a bad start you can already see or what? I, I do think this is better than maybe some of the other tracks we've had for passing. Um, a lot of, you know, I always like when there's a 180 after a triple, you can make a pass there. 180 after the whoops, you can make a pass there. Um, these switchbacks always make good passes. So, um, yeah, I think there's some spots for sure. Outside of uh, Nashville, your starts have pretty consistently been right at the sharp end of the field. Do you feel pretty confident with where they are at going to this finale? For sure, yeah. And I honestly think I tried not to lose sleep over Nashville because that was just, uh, it all started with getting a bad heat race um, result. I actually pretty much whole shot it, but then I got pushed wide. So. Um, then you have a bad gate pick for the main. I had a bad rut and I got a bad start. So um, every time I've had a just a normal night, get a good good gate I want, the start's been pretty good. So I'm I'm feeling good. With it being a showdown, is it quite a bit tougher than to get a good start, like you said, with a bad gate pick in Nashville and a showdown? Is it a bit tougher with all those factory bikes on the gate? Most definitely, yeah. Um, especially because I mean I had to pick a gate. I forget who I was next to, but a lot of times on the West Coast rounds, like you sometimes even end up with just a privateer next to you um and these east-west sh showdowns you know you're pretty much everybody out there's on a factory bike so it's tough uh, obviously the end goal is the championship tomorrow night but looking back at your season being in this position in the first place is it just satisfying knowing how things went this year yeah for sure i mean you know obviously i want to win more than anything but uh, at the end of the day i'm really proud of myself and proud of the whole team and how everything's gone this year. You already talked about it a little bit in the press conference, but 15 points up in the championship. How does your mindset kind of approach tomorrow at that point then? Um, 
you know, like in Supercross, nothing is done till till I will pass the track of flag, I think. So just going to try to do a normal day. I kind of like the track. It's pretty cool. Bike a little bit slower here. We are in altitude in, in Salt Lake City. So I kind of like the bike a little bit slower. It's, it's more smooth, I would say. So it should be good. Um, I like the track. So I'm just going to do a normal race, trying to go trying to do some good lap tomorrow afternoon and a good heat race and uh, for the, have a good start to put me in a good position be, uh, for the money, main event. Yeah, there's a unique opportunity. We get to talk to you guys after you ride the track. So what did you think about it out there? Track is pretty rough at the moment. Like on press day, it's always pretty tricky, I would say, because they just build the track. So it's brand new and the dirt is still soft. So uh, always like the day after, so Saturday, the race day would be better, I think. It's always like that in press day, but um, I like the layout. It's, it's pretty cool. So. Uh, the dirt is actually good. Um, should be good for tomorrow. I saw you and uh, Hayden kind of messing with each other at the end of the session. What was that about, or was it just a misunderstanding? Yeah, or? I don't know. Um, I passed the checker flag, and Hayden was trying to play. I mean, he's kind of, I kind of understand in this position. Like, he's, uh, he has to try everything he can, and I kind of understand. So, just gonna do my own race and um, not focus on that. Uh, focus on myself, on my race tomorrow, and uh, should be good. So, what do you think of it so far? Oh, the trucks. I mean, it's solid. It's gonna be. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty basic track, there's not much to it, I mean, it'll be a fun race though. Uh, a lot of rocks, it's literally tons of rocks, so the roost might hurt, but hopefully we ain't getting roosted. <laughs> Do you think that maybe keeps the field a little closer together, you guys will be more tightly packed tomorrow night? Yeah, I think it's going to be a tight race, honestly, till the end. I mean, you got two guys going for a championship that are tied, that's going to be gnarly, and then you got me, nothing really to lose, just go out there and try my best. but. Uh, yeah, this track is, it's not going to get rutted up. It's going to, the turns are going to become a good race, racy track, so it should be good. As Tom, this after uh, the session there, you guys were kind of crossing over each other. What was that about or anything? Yeah, he just pissed me off, so he might get it tomorrow. I mean, that's just uh, that self-inflicted, I guess. <laughs> uh, but in that situation where you guys are on the same stretch of track like it was in Philly, what, what's kind of the game plan, do you think? Uh, I mean, it's it's honestly, you can't come into it with a game plan. You just got to go with it, go with the flow. If it's there, make the pass. It's there. If, I mean, if it isn't, it isn't. It's hard to make a game plan when you're so equal speed, you know. It's uh, it's not like you, it's not like freaking Jet Lawrence where you can kind of play the field, really. That's not, I'm not to that level yet, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, like you said in the press conference this year, you get your first two wins in Supercross. What would you kind of like rate yourself this year now that you can look back on it? Um, I mean, I'm just slowly, slowly learning getting better at supercross it's uh we're slowly going on a up ramp and i mean last year ticked up some podiums this year took some wins and uh yeah just continue to keep getting better just reflecting on the last month for you i feel like you've kind of turned a page what do you feel like it is that's just kind of clicked a lot more these last few rounds at least um just getting back to 100 percent you know i feel like i was coming into this form before my crash at daytona and then that just kind of delayed things a little bit and then getting back to kind of where we were and, and, uh, and a bit better. So I'd like to say this was coming uh, in those, those stretch of races around Daytona time, but um, yeah. When you were dealing with the scapula, was it uh, just completely off the bike during that time during the week or were you still testing and training and trying to ride through it? What was it? Yeah, in the initial first four weeks, it wasn't. I wasn't able to do much because it was so important to recover it during the weekend because you just beat it down on the weekend, um, all the muscles around it, everything. So it was... Uh, it's tough, that balance when you're racing every weekend. You know, you only really have three days at home of training. Then, you know, you fly out on the Thursday. And then Friday, you're at media, press, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it all just goes to a blur. But it's uh, back in a better place, and we're still building it up. Yeah, for you, it's obviously the first time doing all 17 like this. How has it felt kind of physically throughout the year of just kind of dealing with that grind? It's good, man. You grow to hate traveling more and more, that's for <laughs> sure. Um, dealing with airports and, and just the rude general general public honestly uh that's gets a little long in the tooth but um no nah, the season has been good man it's cool just racing you just get on a roll and it's like you just it's what you do you know seeing how denver went uh it's obviously hard packed soil it's going to be hard packed again this weekend is that a, a soil right now that you feel the most comfortable on and it will carry into this week again uh no not really um hard pack soft i think you know good like dallas was soft and we rode really well there it just the start was a huge key on the weekend and denver was a track you had to hit your marks just you know there was about a two foot wide path on the track that you had to hit your line every every lap and and that's what we were able to do and i feel like this weekend's going to be very very similar we rode a little bit uh, already and 
what it's looking like, it's shaping up to be, is going to be pretty similar. Starts are going to be very, very important. Uh, I know you said in the press conference last week that if it wasn't for Jet, your season might look a lot better too for a rookie. Uh, what kind of, a, of your own personal goals do you feel like you've been ticking each week that you're, you're happy with? Um, qualifying's been a lot better. Qualifying's been a lot better. Our starts are getting there. Just the riding. My riding's been really good, but it's so... You know, you see with not only myself, whether it's Eli Webb, you know, other guys when they don't get a good start, that top three, top four, you know, like it's tough to come through from if you're a sixth or seventh or tenth even, you know, it's tough to come through. So that's been one that uh, we can definitely improve on. Um, yeah, there's a few goals we haven't hit, but at the same time, it's kind of you roll with the punches and you adjust accordingly to, you know, the injury set us back a little bit. Your focus kind of changes. Okay, we need to get back to 100%, you know, get back to being healthy, 100% fit. And um, yeah, but no, it's been all right. Nothing to jump up and down about. Hopefully tomorrow night we can uh, finish it off with a good, good hoorah.